Dyslipidemia is an imbalance or dysfunction in the lipid profile. Commonly called high cholesterol, dyslipidemia has been associated with increased risk for heart disease and stroke. These are two of the leading causes of death, making dyslipidemia a major area of concern for cardiovascular well-being. Keep watching to find out more. Diagnosing. How do you diagnose dyslipidemia? A serum lipid profile is a routine blood test. To be most accurate, patients should fast for up to 12 hours before the blood sample is drawn. However, a non-fasting lipid panel is better than no lipid panel, so beginning with non-fasting in the low-risk patient is fine. The lipid profile will measure four fats, total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, and triglycerides. Some individuals have genetic dyslipidemia, causing abnormal levels of clinical concern. Clinicians should refer these patients to a specialist, such as an endocrinologist for treatment and monitoring. How many people? In the US, over 90 million adults, 20 or older, have total cholesterol levels greater than 200 milligrams, which is the normal threshold for healthy adults. Partly due to our diets and consumption of processed foods, it is common for American adults to have lipid levels outside of their optimal ranges. However, because high cholesterol does not have symptoms, many patients do not know until they have a lipid panel done that they have dyslipidemia. Other risk factors. While certain lipid levels may require intervention immediately, other levels are borderline. In these cases, an individual's goal lipid levels depend greatly on their other risk factors. When a patient has additional risk factors for cardiovascular disease, their lipid profile needs to be closer to optimal ranges. Some important risk factors include family history, heart disease, heart attacks, or stroke, obesity, diabetes, history of smoking slash tobacco use, and more. Medications. So-called statins are the most common medications used in the treatment of dyslipidemia. Statins also provide other benefits like stabilizing vascular cells and suppressing inflammation. Common statins include Lipitor, Crestor, and Zocor. Patients at very high risk for an atherosclerotic vascular event may need additional pharmacotherapy, and there are several other classes of medication that may be prescribed with a statin. The American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association has guidelines for dyslipidemia treatment that uses statins as the first line of defense and can include other medications that may help raise HDLs or lower triglycerides, for example. Experts consider the polypharmacy approach as the best practice to achieve a lipid panel within normal ranges. Lifestyle changes. When a patient has dyslipidemia, consider their diet and exercise. These are two highly important areas for managing dyslipidemia and cardiovascular health more generally. It would also be helpful for patients to quit smoking, try to lose weight, and make sure to get enough sleep in order to best care for their cardiovascular health. Diet is an important factor in managing lipid levels. High cholesterol foods like red meat, full fat dairy, and fried foods should be consumed in moderation. Processed foods like packaged meats and junk foods should be avoided when possible. Food does not have to be high in cholesterol specifically to be problematic for patients with dyslipidemia. Foods with high saturated fat content and trans fatty acids also affect lipid levels as they affect the body's production of these lipids. Foods that have simple carbohydrates like refined sugar and corn syrup cause the body to produce more triglycerides, and food with saturated fats cause the body to produce more LDLs. Therefore, an unhealthy diet can often be a cause of dyslipidemia. Dyslipidemia is a complex but manageable condition. Working with patients to make comprehensive lifestyle changes is the best way to reduce their risk of cardiovascular disease and keep dyslipidemia at bay. Earn CE hours by listening to the Diagnosing and Managing Dyslipidemia podcast, free with Passport membership. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.